Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video, we're changing the starter on the 2009 Dodge Nitro. So stay tuned because we're starting right now. And welcome back to another mobile mechanic workday. Here we are, we're pulling up on our 2009 Dodge Nitro. Gonna do a starter replacement on it. I've actually never changed one on a Dodge Nitro. But like always, the first thing we need to do is go ahead and take off the negative cable. 10 millimeter, go ahead and loosen that up. Go ahead and slide it off, place it to the side. Go over here to the positive cable, same thing. 10 millimeter, go ahead and loosen it up. Once you have it loosened up, take it off. Make sure they're not touching anything metal. Go ahead and jump in real quick, pull that e-brake. We don't want this thing falling and crushing us. Now we're gonna run around front here. We're gonna place the jack on the frame. We're gonna jack this bad boy up. Once again, I'm a little bit bigger than the average cat. So I gotta jack this thing all the way up to the max. Now once you have it jacked all the way up, to get to the starter, you're gonna come to the driver's side, right behind the driver's side front tire. You're gonna look up here and the starter is right there. It's right behind the exhaust. And right above the drive shaft, you see the two bolts, They're both 15 millimeter. You duck under the drive shaft and you get a better view right here. Now I was trying to remove it with the drive shaft still intact, but that did not work. Like I said, I've never done this one before. So I was taking the bottom bolt off. I was taking the top bolt off and it was very hard because the drive shaft was in my way. Well, then I realized it needed to come off. The drive shaft is held on by four 15 millimeter bolts. Now this is the four wheel drive drive shaft or the front drive shaft. This vehicle has two, but the one we're messing with is the front drive shaft. Two of them are very easy to get to. Two at the top are kind of hard to get to. But if you put your vehicle in neutral and have both wheels off the ground, the front wheels, then you'll be able to turn it by hand, the drive shaft, rotate it till you have access to the other two 15 millimeter bolts. Then you can go ahead and take them out as well. But our vehicle, we could not put in neutral because we could not even get the key to turn over to move the gear shifter. So we could not do it that way. So ours was a little bit different, took a little bit longer, but we still got it done. Now, yes, it would have been a lot easier if we could have turned the drive shaft, but we couldn't, but we still got it done. And you can see, you can still move the drive shaft, but it's only like an inch or two. And here we are starting our last bolt. All right, guys, I just had to jump in here real quick to explain what's about to happen next. I need you to turn your volume up really loud. Here in a second, you're going to hear me get really scared, and I want you to be able to hear it. So go ahead and turn your volume way up, and I want you to pay attention. And let me set the scene just a little bit for you. I'm working by myself in an area that I'm not familiar with, and it's late at night, completely dark out. So I just want to set that scene for you real quick. Now I'll turn the volume up. Once the scene's done, I'll jump back in here and explain a little bit to you. Who's that? Bro, that scared the fuck out of me. I was coming to kill you, bro. I was coming out fire, man. I know that's right. Jesus Christ. All right, so you can tell I was pretty scared. So what happened, if you couldn't tell, was I was working underneath the vehicle. I'm doing the starter replacement that you guys are watching. And then, I hear somebody walking very close to me. Well, I hear something walking very close to me. And a bunch of rocks got kicked underneath the vehicle. It scared the hell out of me. Remember, it's like 9 and 10 o'clock at night. I'm not familiar with this place. So I could hear something right beside me. All these rocks got kicked underneath the vehicle. I came up flying from underneath that vehicle. I was scared. Flight or fight was kicking in. But it was mixed with both. I was going to fight, but I was pretty scared about it. And when I came up out... There was this huge dude standing there. He's about 6'5", about 300 pounds. You can even tell by his laugh. He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So thank God I didn't have to get killed or kill someone. But I, at that moment, I was pretty scared. You'll see in a second. I don't get right back to it. I turn on the light 
and then I'm start looking around the neighborhood like I laughed it off and stuff but you can tell I'm still a little bit shaken just a little bit so you'll see that next all right guys back to your regular scheduled program and as you can tell I'm still shook look at me not very happy but you can see look I'm working in the dark at a place I'm not familiar with you know I'm in a vulnerable position underneath the vehicle with my back turn so you just got to be careful but we still got to do the job here we are taking out the last 15 millimeter bolt and there it comes still connected at the other end at the other end of the drive shaft so it doesn't fall all the way down it does move and you can move it out of the way and now you have a lot more room as you can tell look at that now it's still hard to get these off because there is not a lot of room that top bolt there's only like an inch inch and a half of clearance before it's hitting something so that is a short socket and that is like a very small wrench i have like the wrench is only like four inches long here we are taking out the bottom bolt that was loosened up you can see the starter separating a little bit so we got to take the rest of the bolt out the top bolt out by hand now once we get it out the starter pretty much falls out as you can see we just barely move it out and comes right out a lot of times starters get stuck man you got to use a hammer or a screwdriver not this time and i'm showing you right there that black wire or that black connector right there what you have to do is push on the little clip and pull out now if it's stuck you push the little clip and you push it towards the starter then out and that'll break the seal and I'm showing you right there. That's where you push it at. Now, the only thing holding this starter in is this 13 millimeter nut right there, that top one. It's connected to the power cord. You need to loosen that up. But ours was so rusted that when I took it off, look, it broke completely off and broke the starter as well. But at least it's out. Now, all we got to do is put the new starter in and put everything back in reverse order. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. But before I say my little spill, I do want to say any tools that you ever see us used, they're all linked down in the description. Also, I just started a new membership. So go ahead and click on the link. It's in the description as well and check it out. There's three different levels depending on how much you pay. They're all very cheap. Now to our regular spill. If you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, Still give me a thumbs up. Just just do it. Made it to the end of the video. In the comments, let me know by putting a number seven. If I see any sevens down there, then I know you guys watched all the way to the end. And you my special people. The ones that put number seven, I'll enter you guys into the giveaway. And if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. We're about 1,700 right now. So we're growing pretty good. But now the last couple days... We've started slowing back down. Everybody's home on Thanksgiving right now. So please watch this and subscribe. Like always, Semper Fi till next time.